Hello guys, welcome back again. Today we learn how to create this. First of all, we will create a new composition. We call it text. Then we go to toolbar and select typing tool. We will type freeze. I'm using Ice Kingdom font. You can download this font from link in below. We change its size and align it to center. Now we will create one more composition. We call it style. Then we insert text composition. Now go to layer menu, then layer style. And select inner glow. We open inner glow menu. Then we will change blend mode to normal. Opacity value to 70%. Color to black. Technique to precise. Chalk value to 11%. And last size to 40. Now we will create a new adjustment layer. Then add fast box blur effect on it. Now we will change blue radius to 1. Iteration value will also be 1. All the settings for this composition has been done. Now we will create a one more composition. We call it ice texture. We will insert ice image. Then enable title safe option. And move it to right side. We are going to add motion tile effect on it. Now change output width to 200 and turn on mirror edges. Now we will add curves effect. Then we move the curves downward. Something like that. We also bring up the curves effect. Now create a new solid layer. We bring it to down. Then we will change blend mode of ice image to luminosity. We are going to add four color gradient effect on fill layer. Now we will change all the color one by one. You can download all the texture image from link in below, but it is only for subscribers. So please subscribe our channel, because here you will enhance your After Effects skills to an advanced level. Again we are going to create a new composition. We call it wall texture. Now we insert wall image. Press S and change scale value to 22. Now we will add motion tile effect. In motion tile effect, change output width and height value to 200. We also add hue saturation effect on it. Now we will turn on colorize option. Then change saturation value to 0, lightness to negative 50. Now all the settings for this composition has been done. So we are going to create a one more composition. We call it ice text. We will insert ice texture, style and text composition in it. Then we will unhide style and text layer. Now we will add CC glass effect on ice texture. In CC glass, change bump map to style. Then softness value to 3. Height to 100. Displacement to 0. Open light option, then change it to A, E light. In shading menu, change ambient to 60. Diffuse to 30. Specular to 100. Roughness 0.3. We will also add set matte effect on it. Now we will change layer from to text. Again we will create a new composition. We call it wall text. We will insert wall texture, style and text composition in it. Then we will unhide style and text layer. Now we will add CC glass effect on wall texture. In CC glass change bump map to style. Then softness value to 1, height to 80, displacement to 0. We will also add set matte effect on it. Now change layer from to text. 
Now we will add curves effect on it. In curves effect, we move the curves downward. Something like that. Now we will press Ctrl K, then rename the composition. We are going to create a last composition. We call it main. Now we insert ice and rock text composition. Then we are going to create a shape by using rectangle tool. Come here and press P. Then add keyframe, move forward approximately 6 second. Then change the position downward. Something like that. Now we change its mat to alpha mat. Let's preview it. Cool. Select last key and change it to easy ease in. Now we will add wave warp effect. In wave warp, change height to 85. Then change quality to high. We also add rough and edges effect. Change border to 125, sharpness to 2, scale value to 40, stretch to negative 0.60, and last complexity to 5. Now we are going to add sharpen effect on ice text. We will change sharpen amount to 15. We will create new adjustment layer. Then add hue saturation effect on it. Now change master saturation value to 20. We also add glow effect on it. Now we will change glow threshold value to 75%, radius to 3, intensity to 0.5. Now we add one more glow effect on it. We bring it up. Then change glow threshold value to 97% radius to 92 As you can see the shape size has become smaller so we increase its size Then we will change the position value of both keyframes one by one Let's preview it Cool. I think it's time to say goodbye, because here is so much cold, and I don't want to freeze. Please subscribe so I feel heat. And please don't forget to leave your feedback. Your feedback is very important to us. We will meet on next tutorial, and be happy.